Hello all, this is Aruna. So we will be discussing about electronic bank statement, which is ABS in SAP ECC. So if you have any questions, you can put it in the chat box. Okay, so we are going to start now. So this is our agenda. So we will be discussing what is electronic bank statement and what it is integrated with and what are the prerequisites in order to implement electronic bank statement what are the features of it and what exactly is the configuration? So now let us go to slide number three. So here, what is electronic bank statement? It is a central component of payment transactions in SAP system, okay? So this will support in the processing of the incoming payment. See, um, let me take an example. So even if uh, you know, you're having any savings bank account, you will be receiving the bank statement every month end or every periodically to your email, right? So there, like if you open up this statement, that is called the soft copy of EBS, okay? It is the bank statement, okay? It is a bank statement and you receive the soft copy of it. So here also for our companies, for our client companies, they will also be receiving the bank statement but how they are receiving depends upon their business process, okay? So some people will receive by email, somebody uh, with the help of, you know, some integrations will be there, some different uh, system will be there for the bank setup. So how they are receiving, it is according to their business process. So once they are receiving it, how they are processing their state, their, the statement, the electronic bank statement has to be processed in the electronic bank statement both the receipts will be there as well as payments are there. Even in our bank statement, if you see, you will be having the receipts as well as if it will be there and you made a bank transaction through net banking, okay? Even that will also be present, okay? So both receipts as well as payments, both will be there. Many companies use the option of obtaining the bank statement data from the bank electronically, okay? So in order to get this statement electronically, some setup will be there, okay? That setup, FI person is not involved, okay, for that setup. Then where FI person is involved? In the processing of the payments, okay? Here, the FI person is involved. So now let us see. I'm in slide number four. Now, actually, electronic bank statement is integrated with the solution manager, okay, with also the dispute management, with the AIC, which is Accounting Interaction Center, and the schedule manager. But kindly remember, in real time, even if it is not integrated, still we can execute the electronic bank statement. Actually, EBS is a part of cash management process. But again, if you see, it is in general, it is part of bank account. Okay. So how it is integrated, it is not exactly the part of our syllabus because cash management, dispute management, all these are part of FSCM. FSCM. FSCM is a separate module. You know that. Okay. So it is integrated, but how it is integrated, we need not go through this because it is not part of FICO. Now, prerequisites. Prerequisite is you should be having the financial extension enterprise activated. Even for the current versions for the SAP server, if you see, you need not have this because it is already inbuilt, it is activated. Okay, you need not go to some transaction to activate this. It is already inbuilt, it is activated. And you have made the necessary settings for the electronic bank statement. Those settings we will be doing in transaction code OT83. So when we do the execution, we will be discussing how it is done in OT83. Okay. For the bank statement overview function, you require SAP NetWeaver business client. SAP NetWeaver again is already present in all the current versions. 
okay you have the necessary authorizations see actually authorizations if you ask me in order to execute any transaction you should be having the necessary authorization not just tvs it applies to any transaction any business process okay so all these are required for tvs and do the posting and clearing clearing is a topic which we will be discussing as a part of fi in gl sub module okay the same topic posting and clearing receiving the bank statement for edi edi stands for electronic data interchange it is a setup okay in order to receive the electronic bank statement so all these are the features of ebs okay you can do all this you can import the bank statement you can display it you can do the posting and clearing okay posting and clearing what you can do postings in fi when you get the bank statement you can do the postings in fi what kind of postings all these are bank accounting related postings okay you would have made some payment to your vendor through your bank account you would have received some payment from your customer through that particular bank account those are the postings whatever payments you made whatever payment receipts okay have happened all these can be done postings with the help of the bank statement clearing what is that clearing you can do any open items are there on the vendors or on the customers can be cleared off see open item is there on the vendor means what you are still you are yet to make payment to your vendor okay so this open item can be cleared off from ebs or without ebs without ebs means first you are clearing of the vendor and you are taking an intermediary gl account as an open item and you process the electronic bank statement so that that open item is cleared off that is part of bank accounting otherwise when it comes to payment order payment order is again a separate topic in app right so if at all payment order is there then you cannot clear of the vendor from app in that case vendor will be kept open till the time you receive the bank statement okay so you can clear of the vendor from electronic bank statement okay so that is clearing of the vendor which is part of sub ledger accounting okay now receiving a bank statement as per edi means again you have to have the setup okay for edi you have to have the setup that setup fi person is not in now bank statement overview which you can do from ff67 and post processing post processing you will be doing whenever any errors are occurring when you execute the bank statement so you debug those errors with the help of post processing functional enhancement so many enhancements are there okay so we i will be showing you one enhancement okay uh, which is uh, some user exit i will be showing you that okay and processing of the returned debit memo okay so any processing of the return debit memos also can be exit electronic bank statement configuration in order to have the electronic bank statement uploaded you have to have all these you need to create the account symbols account symbols have to be created for each gl account or a set of gl accounts suppose all the bank main bank related gl accounts are there you create one account symbol and you assign all the main bank related gl accounts to that particular account symbol okay that means for each and every set of gl account or each and every particular gl account you need to create the account symbol and that account symbol should be having all the gl accounts assigned to it then you create the posting rule here you give the name to the posting rule and in the definition of the posting rule you will be giving what gl account has to be debited and what gl account has to be credited because postings will be made right when you execute ebs okay so postings will be made based on this posting rules transaction type means what type of 
EBS file is coming, whether it is MT940 or BAI. So that format you are defining here. Now this one, assignment of external transaction. External transaction type means what? The name itself is saying external, means it is not part of SAP. Then what is this? When, whenever you are receiving the EBS file from the bank, in that file, some codes are present. Those codes are defined by the bank for each particular type of transaction. So for any vendor payment, one particular transaction type, external transaction type is there. For a payment receipt, one more transaction type is there. For bank charges, one more. For bank interest, one more. Like that, depending upon the nature the transaction type, which is the external transaction type, will be placed in the file. Now, this is called external because this is coming in the file. This is not part of SAP. Then, assignment of bank accounts to transaction type. So, to this transaction type, you will be assigning the bank account. Bank account from which account you are doing business, you are making the payments and you are receiving the funds. That is the bank account. Okay. Now, EBS configuration is done at chart of accounts level. You give your chart of accounts before you do the execution. System will be asking for chart of it. Next, the first step is creation of the account symbols. Suppose, you know, this is just an example. This is how you create the account symbols. For each and every type of GL account, you'll be creating. And then you assign the GL accounts to those account symbols. And then you create the posting rule. Here you create the name of the posting rule, except that you do nothing. But in the definition of the posting rules, like this, you will be giving on the credit side, which GL account, and on the debit side, which GL account. Here you are mentioning. Okay. And what is the document type? It has to be the posting. That also you are giving here. Okay. So these are just the configuration steps, but you know, when you execute, it is like, you know, so many steps will be there in the execution. And EBS is one of the very, very important topic. And it is asked a lot in the interviews as well. Okay, so if you put up EBS in your resume, it will add a lot of value addition to your resume. Okay, so this is about EBS. Okay, so if you have any question, you can put it in the chat box. Thanks a lot, everyone. Like, subscribe, and press the bell icon.